Hello, my friends, it's Danny, and today I am here with a brand new 101 video, which I'm super excited about because we haven't done one of these in a while. But I was at the grocery store and I saw the most beautiful lion's mane mushrooms. And this is a pretty new ingredient for me, so I bought a bunch of them, did a ton of research, came home, cooked them up. Not only are they delicious, but they have tons of nutritional benefits as well. So I'm super excited to share with you what I've learned and I'm happy because you're also gonna have a brand new clean and delicious ingredient to add to your kitchen. A lion's mane mushroom is a white fungus with hair-like texture that resembles the mane of a lion. Now the scientific name for the lion's mane mushroom is Heresium arenaceus. Heresium is Latin actually meaning hedgehog, which makes sense because this mushroom could easily look like a little cute hedgehog. Other names include bearded tooth and pom pom, but the majority of people refer to it as a lion's mane mushroom, so that's what we're gonna go with today. They're native to North America, Europe, and Asia. And sometimes, when you're lucky, you can find them at your local grocery store or at a farmer's market. Here in New Jersey, we don't see them very often, and if that's the case where you live, I would definitely recommend picking them up if and when you do see them. They're supposedly also very easy to grow. They have tons of homegrown kits right on Amazon. I will link to a couple of them down in the description box below. I haven't tried this myself yet, but I am very intrigued. As for the flavor, they have a mild, sweet, earthy flavor, and a lot of people think that they actually taste like seafood or crab meat. Now you're gonna notice that they have this fun, light, bouncy texture, and when they're cooked, they have a bit of a meaty texture, which makes a great plant-based alternative if you don't wanna eat meat. Not only are lion's mane mushrooms delicious, but they have powerful health benefits as well, specifically their ability to boost brain health. They're said to protect against Alzheimer's and dementia while also reducing mild symptoms of anxiety and depression. But they also support focus, cognition, creativity, and productivity. So if you need a little extra focus in your life, you might want a lion's mane mushroom. Now because of all of these health benefits, you'll notice a lot of supplements on the market that include lion's mane, but there's nothing quite like the real whole food, which is why I'm gonna show you how to shop for, store, prepare, and cook them. When shopping for a lion's mane mushroom, you're gonna notice that they're kind of fluffy and they should be white or a pale yellow as they tend to darken as they age. Other than the potential of a little bit of dirt on your mushroom, they should be dry, not slimy, and have no bruises. They also don't have much of a smell to them. So if you notice that your mushroom is a little bit smelly, you're gonna to wanna to leave that at the grocery store. Now usually they will either be loose at the grocery store, so you could just take as many as you want or need, or in the, my case, they sell them individually, portioned and packed, just like this. Either way, once you get them home, it's really important that the mushrooms can breathe. So if they're in a container like this, you could leave them, or you could place them in a paper bag because that's gonna give the mushrooms a lot of opportunity to be protected but also breathe. Now the sooner you eat them, the better because the fresher they are, the more delicious they're gonna be, but they will last in the fridge for up to five days and you can store them right in your veggie drawer. When you're ready to enjoy your mushrooms, the first thing you wanna do is just brush off any dirt. A great way to do this is with a pastry brush and then you just wanna trim off this little woody foot at the bottom. That's how the mushroom attaches itself to a tree or to a log when it's growing. Now like all mushrooms, they are very absorbent. So that's why we don't really want to wash them, but if you absolutely have to, quickly run them under some cold water and then gently squeeze them to remove any excess moisture. Now when it comes to cooking, you have a couple of options. You could roast them, in which case you would just gently tear them apart and they would look almost like little cauliflower florets. Then toss them with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and a bit of garlic powder. Lay them out on your roasting pan and pop them in a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. This is a great option, especially if you're working with smaller mushrooms. Another option, and my personal favorite, is to pan sear them. So you're sauteing them and getting a beautiful 
golden brown color. So what you want to do here is slice your mushrooms into planks, just like this. Then I'm gonna heat my saute pan over a medium, medium high heat. And if your mushrooms feel a little bit heavy, that means they're holding a little bit of moisture. So what you can do is get them in the pan and let them cook right in the dry pan for one to two minutes on each side. And that's going to allow some of that excess moisture to evaporate out. Then I like to pull the mushrooms out of the pan, melt a little bit of butter. You could also do olive oil. Then place the mushroom back into the pan. Let them cook for about two minutes on each side. You're gonna see that they cook very quickly and they're gonna develop this beautiful golden brown color right on the outside. And then right before I take them out of the pan, I add a little splash of low sodium soy sauce. You could also do coconut aminos or tamari, a tiny pinch of sea salt and some black pepper. Now you could easily enjoy them just like this, hot off the stove, absolutely delicious. They're earthy, they're sweet, they have that umami flavor to them. Or you could just serve them along as a side dish with your dinner. Another great option mm. is to put a little bit of spicy mayo on some bread and create a bit of a sandwich out of them. Or you could scramble them into your eggs or an omelet, serve them in a grain bowl, or make a pasta dish. So many different options, but at the very least, I really want to encourage you to at least buy one lion's mane mushroom, even if you just cook it up and stand at the counter and enjoy it just like that, because it's definitely worth your attention at least once. So I'm very excited for you to give them a try. And I'm also very curious if you are familiar with lion's mane mushrooms and you have some tips or tricks or any information that I have overlooked, please come down to the comments below and share so we can all continue to learn and grow together. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. At the grocery store and I saw these sore and I, ugh, very close, a brand new 101. Ready? But I was, boop. Not only are lion's mane mushrooms, lion's mane. Not only are lion's mane, lion's mane.